for every human being to become a Muslim. And the qaida is ma la yatimu al-wajibu illa bihi fa huwa wajib. Whatever the obligatory act or the obligation is not fulfilled except for that thing, then that thing itself becomes an obligation. So in this case, it may become an obligation on us to remove the misconceptions about Islam. We must be able to address these issues and clarify them for the people so the message would have been delivered in its clear message, in the ultimate clear sense. Alice informs the Bible. So this is what we'll be attempting to do inshallah today. And ask Allah to facilitate this and make it uh, acceptable to him and beneficial for the audience. Misconceptions about Islam, don't let it stop. Don't let it stop. Working 24-7, striving to associate the word Islam with terrorism. They almost never go independently now. You will hardly ever see the word terrorism without the word Muslim being in context. And you will hardly ever see the word Muslim without the word terrorism also being in context. Obviously, there are many reasons for that. It's basically stress and worries that the West and other places are suffering from based on the amazing spreading of Islam. And since they have concerned that you know the majority of the people will be Muslims and the minority will be non-Muslims, it's obvious that they must do whatever possible or necessary to keep the people away from Islam. And nothing is more suitable in this day and time than terrorism. Since the humans by nature love security, everybody likes to have peace, be able to go to the shop, buy your food, come back home, have a peace of mind. People don't like stress, they don't like fear, they don't like worry. So when you tell them that Islam does that to you, then this will make them feel repulsive. They don't want anything about Islam. Now, I don't want anything that will cause me and my children to live a life of stress and worries. Obviously, this is a major misconception because from any human being who looks into the biography of the Prophet Muhammad or into the early generations of Islam and Muslims, you will find that this is something that almost doesn't exist. Rather, this is something that was carried out over and over again by various nations all over the earth. Just look at World War I and World War II. What is that? What do we call that? Peace, love, affection, caring for one another. What do you call it? The whole world. Fighting against the whole world for domination, for dominance, for wealth, for land. But no one dares to say this was terrorism. It doesn't matter if billions of people die. But anytime Muslims are being attacked and they get up for their right, they automatically the fingers are pointed at them. Obviously, any fair person will know that this is this is not fair. This is injustice. If you have standards, then you must measure everything according to these standards. We shouldn't have double standards. Just know the following. Islam prohibits horrendous acts like bombings and other acts of terrorism and does not condone this awful behavior. We do not support that. We do not go, or we're not okay with it. Because we have evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah and from the way of life of the Prophet Muhammad that this is something that is unacceptable. Allah says in the Quran about those who kill innocent people. أَنَّهُ مَنْ قَتَلَ نَفْسًا بِغَيْرِ نَفْسٍ أَوْ فَسَادٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَتَلَ النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا وَمَنْ أَحْيَاهَا فَكَأَنَّمَا أَحْيَا النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا If anyone killed a person not in retaliation of murder, meaning the killer is to be killed. This is being done right now in Texas and other states. You know the uh, execution of the murderer. If the judge believes that this is necessary. So it is practiced elsewhere, of course, but they only see it when Muslims do it. Or to spread mischief in the land, that's another reason. It would be as if he killed all mankind. Likewise, and if anyone saved the life, it would be as if he saved the life of all mankind. This particular verse is a clear indication about the value of the human soul in Islam whether it is that of a Muslim or otherwise. What people do not seem to understand, 
even among those who are following Islam today, is that the act of going into a building 